Nine years ago this week, back in 1992, one of the top hits in the USA was Stay by a female duo who did something that may be unique in music history. They made an album while both of them were pregnant. I'll have details and that top hit after this. Number 37. Our first debut is a song that's already been a big hit all over Europe. This is the duo called Shakespeare's Sister with Stay. Stay right there. We'll be right back. I'm Shadow Stevens with you, and this next song is the first hit for Shakespeare's sister, Siobhan Fahey and Marcella Detroit. It's from their album Hormonally Yours. Interesting title. Both of them were pregnant while making the album. That's got to be a first. Siobhan said, My relationship to the people around me was really affected by my hormones, but I'm proud of that. Most women feel like they have to sport the soft, tame image, but we're not like that, especially when we're pregnant. Siobhan says the mood swings between them made the studio, shall we say, intense. It definitely affected the music. She says the way Marcy sang and played her instruments was very charged and emotional. It was a trying time for her because she miscarried and she had all these feelings to deal with. But by the end of the recording, she got pregnant again, so it was happily resolved. But it's okay to express feelings of rage or discontent. And some of the moody results from those sessions are right here at number 17. Up to, here's Shakespeare's Sister and Stay. American Top 40. And now a little 1840 Halloween tale from the dark side. You can find out a lot about someone by talking to someone else who knows them. And we found out about Siobhan Fahey of Shakespeare's Sister from her husband, head eurythmic, Dave Stewart. Dave says... She's got a very dark side to her nature, which is why she left Bananarama. The group started off being like that, but very quickly got remolded when a big record label decided, ah, these are three pretty girls, let's do this with them. People forget their first song was called It Ain't What You Do, It's The Way That You Do It, all singing together like angry rats. And now getting to indulge her darker nature again, here is Siobhan and Marcella Detroit at number 35, Shakespeare's Sister, and Stay. Well, now we're up to the duo Shakespeare's sister. When they gave birth to their latest album, they gave birth to something else as well, a pair of bouncing baby boys. It all began a little over two years ago when Siobhan Fahey and Marcella Detroit, the two women in Shakespeare's sister, started their second album. With Siobhan writing the lyrics and Marcella the melodies, they came up with songs about how it feels to be a working woman handling professional and personal relationships in the 90s. And they began recording those songs. But a funny thing happened on their way to that album. First, Siobhan and then Marcella became pregnant. They considered putting the album project on hold for a year, picking it back up after their babies were born. The prospect of giving birth had put their music and their lives in a brand new perspective. Suddenly, the songs they'd carefully written seemed irrelevant. But when they thought about it, they realized they had a lot of great new ideas. So the two mothers-to-be scrapped the album that they were working on and started a brand new one. They wrote personal, heartfelt songs about commitment, courage, change, and of course, children. And then they took those songs into the studio. During the recording of that album, Siobhan gave birth to a son she named Django. And about a month later, along came Marcella's baby, a boy she named Maxwell. When they were done, Siobhan and Marcella named their CD Hormonally Yours. And as a special thank you, they dedicated the CD to their two sons, saying, quote, Shakespeare's sister would like to welcome Maxwell and Django, without whom this album would have no title. This week, one of the songs from that album climbed six notches to number 32 on Casey's Top 40. It's a song about having the strength to make it through tough times. Here are rock and roll moms Siobhan Fahey and Marcella Detroit, the duo Shakespeare's sister with I Don't Care. Casey Kasem. Once a week on Casey's Top 40, and you know how your favorite songs are doing on the national chart. Inching up a notch to number 21 on the national chart are Siobhan Fahey and Marcella Detroit, the duo Shakespeare's sister. Though they formed their duo just last year, both women are music veterans. Siobhan was in the hit group Bananarama, and Marcella sang backgrounds for artists like Eric Clapton. Here's their second hit together, I Don't Care. America's Nine years ago this week, back in 1992, one of the top hits in the USA was by a female duo who did something that may be unique in music history. They made an album while both of them were pregnant. 
They're singers Shevin Fahey and Marcella Detroit. The experience of becoming mothers became one of the themes of that album. And not surprisingly, their delicate conditions also inspired the title of the album, which they called Hormonally Yours. Nine years ago this week, that duo gave birth to one of the top hits in the USA. Here's Shakespeare's sister with Stay. Stay. 